Well, hello guys, my name is Nick, and today I'm doing a build off against Matchbox Resurrection. We have decided to do road trip vehicles. Now, before I start, I want to apologize. I'm late, I'm horribly late, but in the, the about the middle of the vid this video, you will see why I'm horribly late. I everything went wrong, literally, everything went wrong in this video and just didn't make the deadline. Oh, well, so let's take a close look at this model. So there are some damn nice doggies in the back. So the front axle is missing. That's quite nice because the spring on the inside is still intact. Never seen that. No, usually the spring itself breaks and that white axle falls out. But no idea how they did that. Now on the bottom you can see this is a Mercury number 55 or 73. No idea why there are two numbers on this thing, but uh, just go with the flow. So first of all, let's drill out the front and the back rivets. So like I said, one in the front and one in the back. After that, I take my handy dandy screwdriver and pry open the base. So the base releases from the model. Inside you have the classic, well I think 1980s, 1990s matchbox spring. I think it's 80s. Then uh, the interior just releases if the, well, the dogs actually just bite into the trunk so they don't really want to release and the window falls out with it. Now there is a slight crack in the windshield uh, in the passenger side uh, front windshield. Passenger side but there is uh, not really I can anything I can do about that. So that's why the windshield is still well not noise. <laughs> then let's go to my favorite part of every restoration the sand blasting. Well, the paint actually came out relatively easy. Well, came off relatively easily. There are a lot of nooks and crannies on this model, but uh, after about five minutes of sandblasting, I got all the paint of this model. So after the sandblasting is done, let's uh, take my primer. I'm like always I'm using a fine surface primer by Tamiya. Three coats in total, leaving 20 to 20 to 20 to 20. I don't know, don't know, 10 to 15 minutes to dry between coats. After that, the second layer goes on. I decided to, to record two layers for this time, no idea why. Just uh, one coat is this like little, little tech coat so the paint actually sticks to the model. The second coat is just so the paint can actually stick. Now I did find some replacement wheels and axles, but the axles were a little bit too short. So uh, I was actually going to use some nails, but also those were also too short. So back uh, in my parts bin I found some replacement axles that actually fit well they were long enough they didn't really fit the wheel so uh, I have to drill out the centers of these wheels now safety first like always so uh, in a bit I will take my nice uh, tweezers where are they my tweezers not tweezers they're just to hold the wheel so I don't drill a hole in my finger because that would pretty much well hurt <laughs> So, by the way, it's 2020, I didn't really realize it. It is 2020, I hope everybody's having a new year. What are your new year's resolutions? Put them in the comment section down below. And obviously, put in the comment section down below, who, well, not really one, but who, um, how did my uh, opponent do in this build-off? Because there's not, there are no real winners in this build-off. Just um, two awesome builds, I hope. <laughs> I hope his turns out better than mine, because mine didn't really turn out the best. Now to reattach the wheels and axles, you have to lift the spring and after about 15 minutes of swearing and uh, stabbing myself in the finger, I got the wheels reattached. I went for a real classic looking old school wheel. I think it really fits this, uh, this build. Now yes, I'm using an old axle because I couldn't find my toothpicks. I'm literally using an axle to paint in the front headlights and apparently my uh, ring, my, my finger. There's a nice dot on my finger, I love it. Now for color. Well, this is not going to be the final color because I first of all I went with a two-tone blue and white because I love the way this looks. But for some reason, well at this point the paint was already acting up a little bit, but I just decided to keep keep going. I did about three or four coats in total, leaving 50 to um, 30 minutes to dry between coats. Literally baking on the coats, but still the paint wasn't really well doing what it's supposed to do. So at this point I decided to just paint in the details and as you can see it looks amazing. Then I did the clear coat after a day of drying and the paint just reacted horribly. I have no idea why it already was drying for a day. 
and still after the clear code goes on it's 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 all messed up so i did um put it in the sand blaster again we primered it and decided to do just one color red i know a lot of you are going to be disappointed i'm going to be, i was also disappointed because the white and blue looked amazing but then i'm going to keep and what i'm already late for this build so please don't hate me for doing it just red i promised i have another one of these slightly larger scale and i'm going to do a nice two color on this really take my time to do it perfectly because yeah i really want to do a white and blue or two tone again because i did a ford zephyr i think a couple months ago and that just looked amazing that wasn't the burp, that was my uh, amazing. So uh, I did again three coats, uh, and this time the paint just acted, well, uh, normally. No idea what happened. I think maybe I, 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 and I have no idea, I'm not going to make excuses, I just messed up, I think. Or the paint just messed up. Also a possibility. So after I did three coats of the uh, red, I again did the details. So I take my tooth, I default my toothpick by this point. <laughs> so painted in the four door handles. If you guys have any suggestion on different colors for the door handles, please let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know what you want to see next on this channel, because 2020, whole new year, in about uh, 11 days, I'm gonna celebrate one year of Nick's Toy Garage. I think it did 60 plus videos. So I'm quite proud of that actually. So I painted in the door handles, the Mercury logo on the side, and the wear trunk. After that, it's time for the reassembly. So off camera, when it was still in primer, I drilled out the post of the model. So I can uh, put a self-tapping screw in it, so I can always take it apart again. Now as I said, you will see in the final bit, the windshield is a little bit messed up on the passenger side. No, uh, but there is a little crack in it. I tried polishing it, but it... It's not coming out. I could have used some wet sanding paper, but I'm really... I wasn't at ti uh, my time. Time wasn't my friend with this one. So after everything is back in, the dogs are back in its place. I just snapped in the base again. And I really love how these wheels actually will finish off this model. They could have been a little bit more sunken and maybe a little bit lowered. But oh well, let's go with this because I really like the way this looks. And they even still turn. They, they, you cannot fit a hair between the wheels and the body, so they st do still turn. So after putting in the self-tapping screw, this model is finished. So uh, let's take a look at it before the restoration. By the way, now I have time. If you want to send me stuff, my address is going, my email is going to be in the description down below. So if you want to send me models, or send me mail, doesn't matter what, please go to the email in the description down below and I will send you my address. I don't usually like doing uh, this, but oh well, everybody does. Why am I not doing it? I don't know. And <laughs> after the restoration, just had, I just had to talk in that those little five seconds that there was no content. Oh well. So as you can see, I love the way this looks. Maybe I could, could have given the dogs a little bit more detail. Maybe I could have given it a roof rack. Oh well, it's not, it's a, it's a road trip, a, a station wagon is the ultimate road trip vehicle for me. So let me know how I did in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in a future video. Bye.